Hi, welcome or welcome back to Cammy's Closet. I am pretty much a, a newbie here and I don't know how to edit, I don't know how to link, I don't know how to splice, I don't know how to do a lot of things. Um, but I enjoy making videos about the things that we all enjoy and I'd like to share whatever I have in my closet with you guys. So if you like that, stick around. If you um, are interested in seeing what I have to offer on Poshmark, stick around because that's what this video is about. I have a handful of bags that I'm selling. Um, so I figured let me show YouTube world, you know, what I have. And then you could always go over to Poshmark, look it up. And if you say in the comments that you saw my video, I will give you a special discount. Anyway, let's jump right in. The first thing and the most exciting thing that I am selling is this Gucci makeup case. I'm showing you the box because I believe this is a limited edition box. I bought this in Neiman Marcus about three years ago. It's a hologram box. Here's my receipt. It comes in this beautiful, it's a very dark green, um, like a hunter green, forest green uh, dust bag. It came with a separate dust bag, just a plain white dust bag. Here's a box. It's the uh, cosmetic case, the flora in the lodge. It's about seven by four by four. It's beautiful. I put stuff in it, some makeup in it. I put it on my dresser three years ago, and that's where it sat. I never touched it again. I never used the makeup in it because I'm not a big guru of makeup. I don't wear a lot of makeup. I don't bring a lot of makeup with me. Lipstick, um, maybe, you know, I'll have my mascara with me and uh, lip balm. And that's what I carry pretty much in my bags daily or on the weekends. So the makeup case, wasn't really, you know, it was all stuff in there that I didn't use on a daily basis. Um, so here it is, folks. It is gorgeous. It is flawless. There's not a mark on it. Like I said, it sat on my dresser, never used. It has the GG um, zipper. It has a little pull to hold. Opens smoothly. It's a has a very nice capacity. These are the cards, all the cards, the tags, the receipt. I have everything, everything with it. Again, look up close. See how beautiful that is. It's absolutely stunning. No flaws, no wear and tear, nothing. So if you're interested, I have it on Poshmark. Um, I believe I have it on there for $5.85. You know Poshmark takes 20%, so right off the bat, I'm gonna lose money that way. But I am willing to go lower if somebody is really interested and wants to take it off my hands. Uh, Fashion File gave me a buyout price and I have till the end of April to make that decision. Um, I'm not crazy about Fashion File's price, um, but if nobody buys it by then, I wanna just get rid of it, so I'm gonna give it to Fashion File. So if anybody out there is interested, it would make a great um, Mother's Day gift. Like I said, it's in perfect condition. I have everything with it. The receipts, the cards, comes in this beautiful hologram box. You just uh, look up uh, Gucci, Flora, um, Bloom, Cosmetics Case. Uh, you'll find it on Poshmark. I don't know, you can't find, I don't think you can find people by their names on Poshmark. Um, but you could definitely look up the item. You'll see me, there's a picture of me on my um, homepage there. And I go by Coco Camello. Uh, Coco as in my poodle, not Chanel. Anyway, next. I have this beautiful Prada wallet in the original box never used not one second did i use this my husband bought me a prada bag um about 10 12 years ago i'll show it one day it's the nylon tote bag and that wasn't the bag he bought me he bought me a big huge leather prada bag about 10 years ago it might have been for my 40th birthday i'm not sure um 
it was really too big for me because I'm very petite. So I went, it was bought at the Prada outlets in Woodbury Commons. So I brought it back and you can't get money back at the outlets. So I exchanged it for Prada glasses, a nylon tote, which I'm still using today, that's in pristine condition. I don't know how Prada is making their products now, but the tote I was using, I still am using, which I usually use like every single day to work, um, or every other day or whenever I want a black tote and it's not such great weather, I'll use it because it's nylon. Not a flaw on it. I'm using it for 10 years. Anyway, I exchanged it for the, the leather one for the nylon tote, the glasses, and this Prada Continental wallet. All in the original packaging. Never used. Original packaging. I have all the cards that come with it. It's absolutely beautiful. Get up close. It has a zipper back. I don't think they're making these like they were. Two snap closures. Inside it has um, card case, card holders, a center zip. More card holders over here, hard to see in my light. A front pocket. It's a regular size wallet. It's approximately seven by three. Um, it's very soft, mint condition, mint condition. However, there is a white mark on the inside. I really can't see it right now without my glasses. Very hard to tell. It's hard to tell because I can't even find it. Um, it might have come like that because, like I said, I never used the wallet. Not one day. I forgot I had it. It was in the back of my closet. There's like a little white mark in, I really, I can't see it. Um, probably I need my glasses to see it or a magnifying glass. But like whitish mark in one of the pockets on the inside. Other than that, it's in perfect, perfect condition. Um, I think they still sell for six or seven hundred. I think I have it on Poshmark for, uh, I might have brought the price down to like 300 or even maybe 275. Um, nobody's biting. Again, I'm going to be losing a ton of money. Poshmark takes 20%. Um, but if you, you know, if you want to go over there, check it out on my Poshmark channel. I'm thinking of maybe putting my email down below and maybe selling it privately. Um, if you're interested, I'm going to put my email down below. If you're interested in anything I have, I can sell it privately, you know, through a Venmo or PayPal. Um, you know, maybe you get a better deal that way. I don't lose so much money because of Posh's, you know, 20% fee. In any case, it's a beautiful wallet in perfect condition. Not a flaw other than that little white mark, which I can't even see now, but I put that away. It does come in the original box. Um... The box has a couple of marks on it. I'm not going to lie about that. I don't know what those marks are on the box. I, I don't remember. It's a long time. It's 10 years. It could be more. It could be 12 years, 13 years. I'm not even sure. Um, but other than that, it's perfect. So if you're interested, you know where to find that. Next, I have a Michael Kors suede blue bag. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. The blue is phenomenal. Beautiful color. Never used. I bought this on, um, I think I bought it on Poshmark and I'm reposhing it. Um, reposhing means you're reselling it back to Poshmark, you know, onto Poshmark. I, I never used it. Not once. Here's the plastic tag. All the tags are inside. It opens like uh, like that. It has a small pocket here. My whole hand fits in. I have a small hand, but my whole hand does fit in there. Could probably, um, I don't know if it would hold a phone. Probably not hold a phone. Never took the stuffing out. Tags tags are attached. It's a beautiful bag. Beautiful bag. You could hold it by the top handle 
I'm not going to do all the measurements because this video will be three hours long. If you have interest in any of them, like I said, you can go to Poshmark. Um, all the measurements are on there, or you could comment down below and I will get back to you with the measurements. It has this um, like a camel color tan leather back pocket. It has a, a back wall zip pocket. It has two more slip pockets on one side, slip pockets on the other side. It's definitely a spacious bag. And it's suede. It's beautiful. I'll give you an idea how it looks. It has, um, the straps are not detachable, but they are, it is adjustable. Just for reference, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I'm five foot one, small frame. This is what it looks like on me. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I gotta move back. This is on the shortest. It comes way past my, you know, way the top part is at my hip, so it's kind of long. Um, I wouldn't wear it like that on my shoulder. It's more crossbody, so I do crossbody. It's a, a pretty, a pretty comfortable. Um, length. The drop is enough. I get my hand through. I'm small again, but I get my hand right through. Um, if you're a larger woman with a large forearm, you might not get your hand comfortably through to wear it in the crook of your arm. Um, really, really pretty bag. Um, why did I not wear it? Why am I selling it? I just never grabbed it again. I have an issue with, I throw things in the back of my closet, I forget I have it. Um, so it's beautiful. If you're interested, chat me down below or you can go to Poshmark and look me up. Sorry about sticking my stomach in your face. Junian Burke, beautiful binocular bag. I used it, um, I did, I used it once, one time, literally one time. I went to play um, disco bingo with my friends about four years ago, maybe. I must have this bag about four or five years. I'm not sure I could look it up because I bought it from the Dooney and Burke site. The color, the camera isn't doing the color justice. I like red, if I'm gonna buy red, it has to be a real red. This to me, to me is a real, like a like um a little deeper than a fire engine red. It's a beautiful bag. Not a mock on it, not a floor. It's in absolutely perfect condition. It's red, it has gold hardware. It has a crossbody strap that is detachable and swivel and adjustable. It has a back pocket. Um nice. My hand goes in the back pocket. You could definitely keep, maybe not a phone standing up, probably not a phone, but it definitely will hold hand sanitizer, um, tissues, uh, maybe a small bifold wallet or definitely a card. You could definitely fit a card case in there. It's a magnetic closure. Here's the inside, flawless. Like I said, never used. Nice space. It has a zip wall pocket on the back. And a pocket, another pocket here. You can see that. Nice, spacious. Um, it, it's small capacity, I'm not gonna lie. Um, maybe between a mini and a small, um, but it's beautiful. Oh, it has feet. Look at the bottom. Not a mock on it, on it. I used it one time. This is also on it, on the shortest strap. And this is what it looks like on me, on the shoulder. It hangs low um, at the bottom of my hip, crossbody, nice length. This is, you know, how I like it. It'll definitely work for taller gals. Again, beautiful. No marks. The little, there's a crease here. I'm not gonna, you know, Forget about that. You see that? That's a little bit of a crease. 
It might have been from storage because like I said, I wore the bag once to Disco Bingo. And I never use it again just because um, I forget I have it. Another cute bag I have here, Vince Camuto. Another one I never wore, not one day. It still has the tag, the, um, not the tag, the uh, plastic, because this is a removable wristlet strap. Look how pretty that is. And you could take the wristlet strap off. The strap is adjustable. It's gold hardware. And it also swivels. And a good close-up of the bag. It's really pretty. I never wore it. Not once. I don't know why. Zip top closure. This is definitely mini size. Although it has a lot of compartments, the zipper. So let me get that out of the way. It has a lot of compartments in this bag, surprisingly, for such a small bag. Um, a whole section for cards. Nice capacity. Beautiful white leather. Great for the summer. You can look up clothes if you like to see the colors of the stones and the studs. Again, I, I never wore it. Oh, let me show you the back. I'm sorry. It has the uh, Vince Camuto emblem. Crossbody on me. And again, you could take off the strap completely and use it just as a wristlet. I don't remember what I have this on Poshmark for. Um, maybe 70. I'm not sure. Um, again, if you're interested, check it out on Posh. Um, then I have this really, really cute bag. Another one. Never one. Not one day. Stuffing out. This is Rebecca Minkoff. It's a tan. Um, it's a camel color. This is suede. The leather is a handle. Um, the leather is a handle. The handle is leather. This is the bottom. It has a silver hardware, like that dog leash chain here. It's just for show. It doesn't do anything, um, but it does work. You could like open it and let it hang down. Use it to hold something else, maybe a bag charm or a, a coin purse or something. Um, and this is, it's kind of like a little, like a little mini sling bag if you if you know what I mean. It has studs at the bottom. Beautiful studs on one side, the front, and this is the back with the Rebecca Minkoff emblem, logo. Uh, this is a mini bag and it's only meant, it has no strap. It didn't come with a strap. It's meant to just be held um, by the hand or crook of the arm kind of thing. You know, one of those trendy mini bags. Um, I don't know why I haven't used it. It's adorable. It has a, it's hard to see, the capacity. Probably cell phone, card case, hand sanitizer, maybe a pair of glasses. It doesn't close. Um, but it, it does have a decent capacity. Really, really pretty. Very trendy. Um, I know I bought this in TJ Maxx uh, a while back. Never used it. I don't have the um, the uh, receipt for this one. Uh, but I know I paid, I think, I'm gonna say I think, I'm almost positive I paid 80. I think 80, because I had the big one, I had a large one, similar to this, Rebecca Minkoff, that I sold on Poshmark. Um, and that one was like 100 and something. This one was definitely like 80. Again, never used, adorable, adorable bag. And I have my uh, my coach, little coach bag here. Also flawless condition.
It's leather with the faux shearling. It has um, a front pocket here. Decent, decent capacity. You put a card holder in the front. Maybe not a phone, but a card holder. Lipstick, um, hand sanitizer, absolutely. Zip top opens to a decent capacity. It's hard to tell with the light, but it does have um, like a like a back wall pocket. It's kind of big, the back wall pocket. Nice little stud detail. This bag also, I bought in Macy's on the clearance table. I don't know if you guys shop at Macy's. I'm pretty sure everyone shops at Macy's. They have like a clearance table. This was on it. Um, I think I paid somewhere about 70 for it. Um, I have this a few years. I definitely use this bag, but it's, you know, perfect condition. I take good care of my, my things. So, and because I have so many, the rotating, you know, uh, you know, I might use this once a month, you know, if that much, this does not um, have detachable strap, but it is a crossbody and it is adjustable. This is on the shoulder, crossbody. This thing has nothing to hold it down. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm wrong. It does, it has that little thing here. So it does um, have the little, uh, whatever it's called, loop. So the uh, strap won't flap around. It does have that. So again, if you're interested, it's on Poshmark. Then I have a quick, bought this little guy in TJ Maxx also a few years ago. Never wore it, not once, not one day. Not one day did I wear it. It's a wristlet, Juni and Burke. Large capacity wristlet. It has a zipper pocket, a back zipper pocket. It's um, definitely not a mini, it's a small. It's actually bigger than the Vince Camuto bag. It's actually bigger than the coach bag, but it's a wristlet. But it definitely, this could definitely hold a regular size wallet. Um, so this will hold definitely a lot. This could definitely do a wallet, keys, sunglasses, hand sanitizer. I'm going to guess. I'm not going to do what fits, um, but perfect condition. I think on the Vichetta, there's one little mark in the corner over here. You could see that right there. Um, but that's it. And it probably came like that. It was TJ Maxx. Never, never grabbed for it, never wore it. It's been in the back of my closet. Um, and I'm selling it really inexpensive. I think I have it up there for like $40. Negotiable. Everything's negotiable. And last but not least, Coach, wristlet. Um, wristlet, shoulder bag now. Everyone's wearing the little tiny bag on the shoulder. So, you know, if you have a small little arm, it's nylon with... Shiny, I don't know if it's patent, but this is shiny leather with the coach signature. The strap, it's silver hardware. Here's a little coach. Um, the zipper pull is cute. The zipper pull is like a little coach. Uh, why can't I hold this like a normal person? Here we go. That's on the that's the zipper pull. It's the dog leash. If you take this off and you connect it to this side, then it's like a wristlet, a large capacity wristlet also. It has a back wall pocket, hard to see. It's a little back wall pocket. And it has, ah, the lighting is horrible. It has several card slots. So if you want to, you don't need to take a card holder. Um, and it has a decent capacity. It has a little coach um, tag. So this is very cute as a wristlet. Again, I think I said it, this is nylon, mainly nylon trimmed in the leather. 
Um, but if you take the dog tag, uh, not dog tag, what is this, a dog leash? I don't even know what this is called. It does swivel. And if you attach it to the other side, then you can carry it in the crook of your arm. If you're small, you could actually get it up on your shoulder. You know, the new style, everyone's putting the little tiny bag on the shoulder. So that'll work if you have a small arm. It's not gonna go on if you're wearing a big, huge, you know, winter coat like that. But you can carry it in your hand. It's adorable. I don't know how long I have this. I have no idea. Probably 20 years. Um, I don't even think I wore it once. Doesn't look like I wore it at all. Bottom. So again, all these things are on Poshmark. You could look me up there or just put in the search bar um, something very specific like Vince Camuto, white uh, studded crossbody or Dooney and Burke, red binocular bag because you're not gonna find my name. You, you can't find people by name on Poshmark. Um, but I am Coco Camello, um, again, no relation to Chanel. And if you, you know, want to email me, I'll put my email below. If you're interested in buying something privately, um, I would definitely make a better deal. But if you go to Poshmark and you put in the comment section that you saw me on YouTube, I'm going to be so excited that I'm going to wind up giving you a good deal. Um, again, the Gucci and the Prada. Their prices are a little bit on the, uh, you know, on the higher end. The other bags that I'm selling, really good deals for them. The Michael Kors is stunning. Um, I wish I would use, uh, you know what I mean? Like I look at it and say, I really should use that. I should use it. Why am I not using it? And then I just, um, it sits in the back. And if I'm going to buy um, a luxury bag, I always have to have some kind of, for me, I have to justify why I'm buying it. Um, and justify why I'm spending that kind of money on a high-end luxury bag. So as I sell things, I say, oh good, that money kind of comes, you know, brings the price down of the whatever, the Fendi bag that I want to buy or the, you know, Prada bag I want to buy or whatever. Um, so for me, even the, the little sales, everything helps and it makes me feel better. Like I'm being kind of productive. I'm giving somebody a bag at a really good price and I'm getting money so I could feel like it's not just sitting in my closet, wasting space and wasting the money that I spent on it. Um, so that was my video for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you come back. Please give me a thumbs up and a like and tell all your friends about my crazy channel. Have a great day.